Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. So this is a um, an extra reading for those of you Divine Feminines who know your Divine Masculine is in a karmic situation. Now remember that can not just be a person, it can be a job, family member, friend, you know addiction, overworking, um, something that gets in the way that is a lesson I feel these masculines are discontent and they are rem reminiscing about the feminine at the moment. Some of them might have actually walked away from this karmic situation. Let's get a few cards. Wow, okay, yeah, I mean, there's the, you know, there's the Divine Feminine energy that I was saying, he's reminiscing about. Um, he's looking, you know, he's looking back at her. This is amazing that the Judgment card there is sticking out. Um, so, these Masculines have had an awakening about the connection, the Divine Connection. It's very clear. Um, they might be married though at the moment, so I do feel they're still potentially in this connection, but they're deceiving themselves and this person because you know he's looking back at you, Divine Feminine. And he is making a decision though at the moment about his part his future, sorry. <laughs> about his past. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I feel that they want to turn their back on what they have. Because again, look at how he's looking towards the Empress. So he's looking back at you and looking at you in the future. It's amazing the way that came out in the reading there. Okay, what's going on for him with the karmic? Okay, yeah, he's very burdened by this connection. It's very heavy. Um, a lot of secrets, yeah. I mean, he's deceiving her, whether she knows it or not. Because his mind keeps going back to to you, feminine. Um, now with the ten, we've got an ending. Wow, two tens, and at the bottom I noticed we had another ten. So some of them have definitely ended this situation. Those who were working, I feel they're burdened, and those in connection with a person I feel maybe this has ended it's been quite painful yeah someone has left left the home because underneath we've got you know the the twin flame connection here the four of wands yeah someone someone you know two fives so I'm getting a change has taken place. Anything else, Spirit? I mean, there's that reminiscing again. So he's dreaming about the feminine, I'm strongly getting, um, thinking about her a lot. And some of them are still in the connection, okay? But notice we've got three energies here. And this is below this Seven of Swords, so yeah. 
we've definitely got someone else joining the party. <laughs> um, I mean, these two are facing away. Okay, so I feel this is the karmic. She's committed. He's committed elsewhere. And in the middle, we've got um, the King of Swords. Quite a serious sort of energy. The masculine's made a head over heart decision in this connection. They might even have children with this karmic. So a lot of patience and strength needed in their current situation. So if they're still with the karmic, because some will be, some won't be. Um, but look, we got the six of cups again. And they want, they really want to move away, move on from this situation with this karmic to something more meaningful. They're unfulfilled. They want to move towards the past. So that's really clear, that keeps coming out. That's coming out in a lot of readings, by the way. Yeah, I mean, they're gonna leave someone behind. You know, if they're not left behind, they're gonna leave someone behind for this love they can't, hu can't hide anymore. Okay, how does he feel about the Divine Feminine? So he knows what he wants deep down. Yeah, he knows about, you know, he knows this is a, a soul connection, soul contract. Um. He is, though, at a crossroads because of his current situation. A bit confused as well about how to sort of, in the 3D, move things forward. But I feel he does. Because he wants this victory and communication with you, Divine Feminine. Um, you know, marriage... Is, it, is on the mind. What's this decision about? So he's very stuck in this situation that he's in, he's not happy. As I said, I keep getting that. It's very like a empty feeling inside. It's like um, he just doesn't feel a connection with this person. It feels very fake. Um, he can't see a future with that person. He's thinking about this heavily, his current situation, analyzing, very analytical mind. Um, he wants to work things out. He, he wants, I mean, he wants marriage. He wants, um, balance in his life restored because at the moment he's not in a balanced situation. Okay, we've now got the Queen of Wands. We had the King of Wands before, so he wants this with his Queen of Wands, who is the the strong, powerful couple, you know, King and Queen of Wands, I see as Twin Flames. So he wants this with you. He knows you're, you know, you're just very passionate and loving. 
And there's that Ten of Swords again. So he wants an ending to his current situation. You know, it's so clear in this message, um, this reading. Because we got ten so many times. So if he hasn't had this ending, it's coming. Wow, yeah, look, the connection again with you, the Twin Flame connection, is on his mind, in his dreams. He wants to work at this, he wants to be single, he wants to be free of his current situation. He's got a tower moment coming. That if he doesn't do it, um, the un this is like a rude awakening from the universe, so it's going to happen. And you know his dest he knows he knows that you're his destiny, and he wants to come back and apologize to you, divine feminine, wow, that's a really clear message there I feel today, so I hope this has helped and resonated um let me know in the comments if it has um I don't really read signs too much as you've seen in these readings but let's have a look we've got Leo Cancer, uh, Capricorn Taurus Virgo Aquarius Libra Gemini Gemini here Scorpio Aquarius Pisces Libra again we had Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, yeah, Taurus, Libra. Okay, so they're the main um, energies, but don't read too much into those because it's more the energy, not you know, not the actual astrological sign. And these could also be in their, not just their sun, but in their other placements, Moon rising and Venus. Okay guys, so I hope you've enjoyed the reading and I'll see you next time.